Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to the hotel room that I said that I was gonna check out yesterday but then completely came back here and passed out. Um, <laughs> the jet lag definitely got the better of me. And then I woke up about 3 a.m. and edited the video and managed to not wake him up, which is pretty good. What are you doing now? Oh, look at the breakfast options, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? The egg and eye, it's called. Okay. Look so, at that. Oh, I'm on that. I'm on that. This is basically what we are looking out at at the moment, and I've already spotted this beast Mustang down there. That is a nice colour. That is an M4. Oh, spotting already. And uh, today is our day at SEMA. It started two days ago, but today we are going to be going around and doing a couple of loops. And I am a guest of Rentec, and so are you actually. I yeah, am. You are a guest Thanks, of Rentec. Rentec. So uh, we are going to be, yeah, well, first of all, let's just check out this hurricane. Interesting wrap. That is a mad wrap. Max design. I might take a picture of that. As I was saying, it's our day at SEMA today, so um, I'm going to be doing my best to document all of the cars that are exhibited there, all of the crazy stuff. And I'm pretty sure, Sam, you're challenging yourself to ca- It's all kicking off at 8am. I have you're no idea what to expect, but yeah, I'm going to aim to film every single car on display at SEMA. <laughs> and when I say that to people, they all laugh in my face, so I get the feeling like it's not Well, be because possible. Exotic Driving Experiences yesterday said that it takes 30, it's a 30 mile walk to walk around <laughs> the entire thing and you're going to try and do it in a day. We're already late as well. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Day two. <laughs> Living in America. Oh God. This is where we are. We are a pixel there. This is how big it is. Cool. Um... This is the wrong hall. <laughs> this place is like 30 miles long and I found you in two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Paul Wallet and his furry mic. Hello, baby. How you doing? You good? Paul, what's happening? How you doing? Yeah, kids. Yes, hi, mate. Been so long. How you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, good. So I've just walked in that door over there and uh, I'm now just going to wander around point of view. Well, this is the coolest Kia I have ever seen. Mount Tune Focus RS, that's beast. And this car over here is insanely popular and also went viral because it's got a Ferrari engine in a GT86 Toyota. And the exhaust patch are there. I should probably take a picture of this on Instagram. So I am now in the Ford Performance Area. Everybody a chance to see some of the fun that we have with the Ford Performance 16 rounds for Lucas All Off-Road. Racing in historic places like Glen Helen Raceway. <laughs> you guys digging this? That reminds me a little bit of me on the airfield in the AMG. Just he's I know he is. more in control. And it goes on forever. Ooh, Lamborghini. This is sick. This is the hall that I want to be in. I'm seeing so many ridiculous cars here. I'm pretty sure this is the Liberty Walk 650.
maybe this is wing of the wing of the show. In Battleship Grey. Let's check this out in front. Is it an SV? No, it's just got an SV star front bumper. I think it's got like three front splitters. <laughs> so, a fourth, uh, a Liberty Walk fourth third. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. This outside section is totally mental. The sun's, in, the sun's right behind it, but every single car out here is either a monster truck converted or it's got a wide body kit. Apart from this LaFerrari, if this LaFerrari's got a bloody wide body kit, then this is the best show of all time. It's absolutely mental. This is why I love America and the car culture, because the cars are absolutely insane. And there's a huge crowd around this white LaFerrari side. That I'll be able to get a clean picture, but anyway. Oh, it's on nice wheels. Well, I think I have successfully completed uh, the best bits of SEMA. All of the craziest cars I've done in about two hours. And I feel out of breath now. So I am gonna head back inside. I've got a couple of meetings to do. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some lunch. And then I'm gonna be picking up the Shelby, which I'm excited, but it sounds so mundane now. From all of the cars that are here, like, everything's so crazy. It's the only way that I can describe it. Everything is so crazy. So like a Shelby GT350 now seems pretty mundane. Even though yesterday, it was totally ridiculous. So after about two hours of chill time, Sam is up editing the video and I've got the call to say that I could head down to Exotic Driving Experiences to pick up the Shelby GT350. Uh, picking it up overnight because tomorrow, um, and what you'll see from a separate video, is that I am gonna be doing a bit of a sunrise review on the cars. My only real opportunity to get properly behind the wheel with me, and only me, with a GoPro. Uh, so I'm gonna be reviewing the Shelby GT350 and talking about it as a Mustang on the daily driver hunt, but it's really windy. And I'm hanging around here, which is the Uber pickup. Um, and I just need to double check. Aha, here we go, this could be it. Uber complete, that was a sick ride. That was a good one, and I'm here to pick up this beast. We need to sort out the insurance because insurance in the US is a little bit different. Well, I am officially the first person to hire the Shelby GT350 from Exotic Driving Experiences. So I need to head back to the hotel. I'm actually just gonna park the car up, which is which is kind of sad because I've only just got the car, got the keys here, got my insurance and registration documents and everything like that. Um, but yeah, actually I need to get the sat nav up. And I haven't bought my GoPro because I completely forgot um, I've only got this camera. So I probably won't film too much. I've just found on the top of the car park a rear wheel drive hurricane that looks so good. Oh my God. I love that car, I want that car. Look at those nutters. Only in Vegas would a hotel do that. There it is. This is the beast. Oh my God, can you imagine that as a two car garage in the UK? Oh man. to the hotel and uh, success, I won. I bet I had $200 and I won 
another hundred dollars, so I came away with three hundred dollars. And my uh, very disciplined mind took me away from the roulette table, and I won. Sam, unfortunately, lost. This way. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and now it is back to the room. It is half past twelve. I'm going to edit for an hour and a half. And then at 3 a.m., which is 10 a.m. UK time, tickets for the weekend go live. So I'm going to be trying to buy those tickets. And then at 3 a.m., I'm going to try and get those tickets, go to sleep for about two and a half, three hours. And then we're up super early to film with the Shelby GT350. So What's happening at the weekend? Huh? What's happening at the weekend? 10 a.m. UK time, which is 3 a.m. this time. You're buying tickets for the weekend? What's happening at the weekend? Oh, this is us. Oh, good, good joke, good joke. Sam, you're so current with all the music and jazz. Hip hop. So, uh, yeah, that is the end of the vlog. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And um, it has been a pretty manic day. About a 24 hour day of me being awake. Seema seems ages ago. Um, and now I'm going to reside in my bed with my laptop and edit. So thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for a pretty special video with the Shelby GT350. Cheers guys!